Have you ever wondered why the price of your favorite product suddenly skyrockets or why certain items are more popular than others? In this video, we will delve into the fascinating world of economics and unlock the secrets behind these questions. We'll explore the concept of the demand curve, which illustrates the relationship between product prices and the quantity consumers are willing to purchase at different price points. By examining the factors that can shift the demand curve, such as changes in consumer income and shifts in population demographics, we will gain a better understanding of the key drivers behind consumer behavior and their impact on the economy. So, grab a notebook and join us on this enthralling journey. Moreover, it's important to note that this relationship is not set in stone and can be influenced by various factors. These factors include changes in consumer income, consumer preferences, prices of related goods, population or demographics, and consumer expectations. Let's illustrate this with an example. Imagine you're a lemonade stand owner, and you've noticed a significant increase in your sales of iced lemonade during the summer months. This exemplifies how consumer preferences can impact the demand curve. As the temperature rises, people are more likely to want a refreshing cold drink instead of a hot one. Similarly, changes in consumer income can have a profound effect on the demand curve. For instance, if you suddenly received a raise at work, you might be more likely to splurge on that fancy new smartphone you've had your eye on. This increase in income would shift the demand curve for smartphones to the right, indicating that more people are now financially capable and willing to buy them. By understanding these factors, businesses can make informed decisions about pricing, marketing, and product development to adapt to changes in consumer behavior and market trends. Here are some real-life examples of how each of these factors can shift the demand curve. Changes in consumer income. An increase in the average income of a population can lead to an increase in the demand for luxury goods. Changes in consumer tastes and preferences. The rise of veganism has led to an increase in demand for plant-based meat substitutes. Changes in the prices of related goods. A decrease in the price of a substitute, such as electric cars, can lead to a decrease in the demand for gasoline-powered cars. Changes in population or demographics. An aging population can lead to an increase in the demand for healthcare services. Changes in consumer expectations. A perceived future shortage of a product, such as toilet paper during the COVID-19 pandemic, can lead to a sudden increase in demand. Now that we've discussed the overview of factors that can shift the demand curve, let's dive deeper into each of these factors and explore how they impact the demand curve in more detail. First, let's take a look at consumer preferences. Imagine you're a restaurant owner who has noticed that your sales of plant-based options have been increasing steadily over the past year. This could be due to changing consumer preferences as more people adopt vegetarian or vegan diets. By keeping up with these changes in consumer preferences, you can adjust your menu offerings to meet the demands of your customers and stay competitive. Next, let's talk about changes in consumer income. To illustrate this, imagine you're a small business owner who sells luxury goods. During a recession, your sales may decline as consumers become more price sensitive and opt for lower cost products. However, during an economic boom, you may see an increase in sales as consumers have more disposable income to spend on luxury items. Now, let's consider population demographics. To give an example, let's say you're a marketing manager for a beauty brand. You notice that a large percentage of your target audience is women over the age of 50. By understanding this demographic factor, you can tailor your marketing campaigns and product offerings to appeal to this specific group of consumers. Lastly, let's look at the availability of substitute goods or services. Imagine you're a consumer who usually buys a specific brand of toothpaste. However, if the price of that toothpaste increases, you may opt for a cheaper alternative brand or store brand instead. This is an example of how the availability of substitute goods can impact the demand curve for a specific product. In conclusion, understanding the demand curve and its drivers is essential for navigating consumer behavior and market trends. It helps businesses make informed decisions about pricing, marketing, and product development, while individuals can make better purchasing decisions. It's a crucial tool for anyone interested in economics and consumer behavior. We hope you found this video informative and valuable. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content like this. Don't hesitate to like and share this video with your friends and colleagues to help spread the knowledge. Thank you for watching.